Guys, Jordy from ForwardTradingPrinting.com. Today I want to talk to you about moisture in your materials. Now, no matter where you live, if you live in the desert or in the jungle, your materials are going to absorb moisture at the same rate. Now, if there is more moisture in the room, of course, they can absorb more moisture. However, they have to do it at the same rate. Uh, for example, nylon, if you dry it up in about eight hours, you can absorb all the moisture right back. ABS takes a lot longer. In this particular case, I wanted to show you why you want to keep your material dry. I use two examples of Hatchbook ABS. As you can see, again, same diameter and everything. They're just, the green one happens to be less moisture and the, hatch, and the gray one is uh, nearly wet. But anyways, the reason you want to keep your materials dry, as you can see, they actually snap. They become really brittle. Now, with a dry material, all you see, it bends, right? That consistency that you want to keep when the material is wet, remember it's moisture being drawn from the air. So when it's wet, you're putting it through a hot end that is about 180 then a PLA to 240 degrees Celsius on ABS. So remember, water boils about 100 Celsius. So when you start pushing material, as you can see, I have a sample here. I printed this on carbon fiber and above it, I used that same material, that silver ABS. And as you can see, the, the layer just ran amok. It was a mess. And it's because I am pushing material with steam. So it's bubbling, it's just running into each other. It's not the material's fault. It's my fault for having opened it and let it, you know, get wet. So my result of that, my response was to get this Gourmet uh, Dehydrator. I got it from Amazon for about $100. Uh, there was a bunch of other ones, there were cheaper ones, they were round. The only reason I got this one, first of all, because the round ones, if you have to stack up your materials, if you want the one on the bottom, then you have to take it all off. In this particular one, it has a little door. It's a magnetic door. It can be removed. I would like it if it was hinged, but it's okay either way. As you can see, I have all my materials. If I want to dry my material, all I have to do is pop it right here and close it. Now I have, in this case, three rolls. The smaller rolls, like Ninja Flex, you can put up to four. Again, that was my response. Plus, guess what? You can make beef jerky with this thing. It's great. Um, again, I'm not making any video or any claims that this is the best one because I don't know. But for what I'm using it, it's fantastic. Um, my prints. Turn again, the ABS that is in carbon, it's, it was dry before I did it, and it, the layer is fantastic. It, this sample might not be as clear as you think, because if I would have let it go, it would have been just a mess. So, for about $100, I got this solution, which is elegant, fits on a square table better than a round object, and it helps with my prints. My prints are smooth all around, no more bobbling, no more nipples. Um, with this being said, this is not a solution to not to have your materials dry always. Your materials being packed, sealed from the manufacturer and being kept closed until you have to use them, it's a better option. However, in my case, I have several 3D printers and print, people ask me to print different things in different materials, so materials have to be open as I'm printing. So, I will recommend you one material at a time, and if you have to happen open more than one material at a time, get a solution like this. This is, again, I ran it for 48 hours straight the first day and it dried all my materials and now they get wet again. I can just store them again and keep them running. You can set up your temperatures. It has a display that actually allows you to do that. It has a display where you can set up times up to 48 hours. It also has a display that tells you how much time it has passed. So let's say you have ABS and PTG. PTG absorbs moisture even slower than all the other materials. But if so you only want to keep it here for an hour, you can pull it out because you know how much time has lapsed. So again, this is my solution to you guys. Uh, I hope you like it. Everything you do, do it as working for the Lord, not for man.